guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my current like go to makeup look I've been loving you can see Dexter's tail right there <laughs> I have been loving not using foundation and just been using like concealers and stuff like that so I'm going to kind of go show you guys what I do basically on the daily because I'm not a huge like I mean, I love makeup and all, but sometimes I just don't feel like doing like a whole dramatic look. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys my go-to like day-to-day -day makeup and hope you guys like it. And yeah. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. So I've already moisturized and primed my face. Whoa. And I am going back to like an old favorite that I used to... Um, wear all the time and for some reason I just stopped. So I'm trying it out again and it's this Aveeno's Active Naturals Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer with Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment helps prevent breakouts for clear even looking skin. And I haven't had any like active acne in a while. This is all like scarring, which sucks, but I mean, I guess that's okay but um and then for the primer I'm using this Maybelline master prime in hydrate and smooth and I really really like this primer it like it doesn't like fill pores in or anything like that it doesn't claim to do that but it does really smooth out the skin before I put on my face makeup and stuff like that so this has been um, a really nice product and I did talk about this product in my February favorites video a little bit so I will go ahead and like put a card somewhere up here if you guys want to watch that video too um so that's what I have on my face so far and then I normally start out my routine I have my like makeup stuff right here I normally start out um my routine with like the base so I'm gonna go ahead and get my concealers and I use two different concealers I use the Maybelline Fit Me same concealer but different shades I guess and I use the Maybelline Fit Me number 10 in light. And then I use the number, I think this is, yeah, 15 in fair. So I kind of mix them because fair is a little bit too light and kind of has a pinky undertone to it. And this one is a little bit too dark, but it's the right undertone. So that was my mirror. Sorry. So I would assume that in the summer as I get darker that I, this will probably just be my color. But I just mix them so first I take this number 10 and I kind of just put it on all the places where I need like more coverage really which is usually my cheeks because I have a lot of scarring on my cheeks and then on my chin right there and then I also just put a little bit of it on my like forehead in between my brows kind of oh my gosh if that mirror doesn't stop falling then I take this um, number 15 fair and I put this underneath my eyes just to brighten that area and I don't really have big dark circles but it's a little bit of darkness right here so I just kind of drag that down a little bit just to help blend out and then I also put some of that on top of this um, foundation and then also right here and then I take my real techniques blending sponge and then I spray it with some of this Mario Badescu um, facial spray and I just spray that right there and then I'm gonna take my mirror right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out all over I mostly fake it focus fill I mostly focus the product right here on like right here <laughs> so i'm gonna take this um under eye and i'm kind of kind of take the bottom part of it and just kind of blend that where i need it onto the nose down the cheek and then i'm gonna go ahead and take some of it onto my eyelid just to um kind of even the color I guess then I kind of have a more even base 
but where I need more coverage I take the lighter color actually and I just go over a little bit more so like this right here for sure and then I do like right here and then for some reason my chin always is super red and this I usually blend like with a softer touch I guess just so I don't lose the coverage yeah so then after this I want to make sure that my um under eye concealer doesn't crease so I'm actually gonna take this NYC smooth skin face powder which I'm almost out of and I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of that onto my beauty sponge and put it under my eye I want to make sure that it's nice and blended first before I set creases I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just I don't bake I just um set it and I take it onto my eyelid too just to make sure there's no creases up there I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side before I set the rest of my face I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows I'm gonna use this little spoolie and just kind of comb through and my eyebrow actually has um, pretty natural like good natural shape I basically just fill in the sparse areas, which is like right here, and then like a little bit right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this little angled brush right here. I think this is, oh yeah, it's from Equal Tools. I've had this brush for so long. I don't even know, like when I was in high school maybe, I don't know. Then I just take um, some eyebrow powder, and then I go ahead and just fill in my brows. And I basically just start right here in the middle and I just kind of um, define this arch. Yeah, see the difference? It's crazy to think like what eyebrows can do for your face. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this one in real quick. Spoolie them out one last time. And then that's it for the brows. And if I'm in like a real rush, I'll just go out of the house looking like this because basically what's important to me is the base to make sure that my skin is even and then eyebrows because I think eyebrows just kind of like complete my face a little bit more. So those are what I would do if I'm in a rush rush. So what I do next is I go ahead and set the rest of my face and I just take this, which I'm almost out of, this Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder and I have it in the color Transparent. But it does have a little bit of a, it's not white. I'm going to go ahead and do my bronza. So sometimes I, where is it? Switch between, between um, bronzers. I got this Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess bronzer in an Ipsy bag like a couple months ago. And I love to use this. And then I also have this, the Balm Bronzer and Croeso, which I use quite often, as you can tell. But this one is a little bit cooler of a color, and this one is warmer. If you can, you could probably tell right away, yeah. So, I don't know. I like to use this Tarte Bronzer kind of first, and then... I use that one on top of, I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll kind of show you. So I take this blush brush, and I got this brush from a Vanity Planet, like, brush bundle, so I have the whole set, but I take that, and then I just kind of figure out, so I kind of like contour and bronze at the same time, just to give my face shape and warmth at the same time, because to be honest, I don't really know how to contour, it seems kind of difficult to me. And every time I do it, I always do it wrong. So this is just what I do. Okay, so that's what it's looking like at the moment. And then next thing I do is I take this balm palette right here. And I don't know what it is, but to me, I like to use like um, the bronzer color and then one of these blush colors because I feel like, so like if you were to get sun, there's obviously gonna be like red, 
not really like red undertones, but like sunburnt undertones. I don't know how to explain that, but so oftentimes I'll take this bronzer and then this blush in Huan Ying, I think is how you say it. And I just take like, so like one, 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 tap off the excess and then so you kind of like get a mix of bronzer and blush, tap it off again. And then I just kind of go over where I put, but very lightly. And then I go ahead and do that. Cause it kind of also gives me a flush of color as well as, you know, some bronze. And then I take this Eco Tools um, bronzing or blending brush, I don't know. And then I just kind of blend everything together. Okay, so there's that. Hi, Dexter. Hi. And so, he's too cute. I'm gonna take some of this bronzer and actually blend it down my neck. So it's not like <laughs> bronze, white. Okay, so there is the base of my makeup. Now, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I need this. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and do my eyes. And typically I don't do a lot with my eyes if on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild, like kind of a domed looking brush, and I'm gonna take the bronzer color from this balm palette and I'm just gonna pop that into the crease just to give my eye a little bit of definition and that's basically what I do I just lightly dust some of that color into the crease and then I call it good which sometimes I won't even do this step if I'm lazy and then that's it once I kind of get the face to where it looks presentable I um, take some of this mascara and I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, which I know everyone has. Okay, Ugh, got something in my eye. So this is basically the look overall. And from day to day, I basically uh, change the lip color to whatever um, lip color I'm feeling. At the moment, I'm just gonna go natural and go ahead and use this NYX Creamy lipstick, I think it is. Creamy lipstick in B52, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, and that's usually the last thing I do is lipstick. Okay, and so this is basically my everyday makeup routine, not using any foundation. And to be honest, I haven't used foundation in probably a couple months. This has basically just been my look just using concealers and bronzer really is my main thing and so yeah this is super easy it usually takes me about maybe maybe like 15 minutes to get ready and do my makeup and everything so it's super quick easy um i do it basically every day hope you guys liked this video and if you did give it a thumbs up what am I saying? And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and maybe go check out some of my other videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.